In this video, we'll see how to put a hyperlink to create a new file or if you want to update a existing file, you can do the same thing. So let's see that. So this is the fourth type of hyperlink, hyperlink to create a new file. So I'll go to the next slide. Yeah, that is the hyperlink to new file. I've written some text here to create and update a notepad, click here. Now I've written here notepad in the red color because I, I can replace that notepad with Excel, PowerPoint, Word, any document. So I can just write any document, I can follow the steps. So if you want to update this notepad, how I do that? So I'll just press escape. The very first thing is I need to create a notepad. I'll create a notepad on Excel and every time if I click on this button, click here, it should open and I can update it, right? So I'll just select that first, select that text that is click here and uh, I'll go to the insert tab and now I can click on hyperlink. So once I click on hyperlink, that was the first and second, third hyperlink and the fourth hyperlink. Fourth hyperlink says create new document. So I say as when to edit, do you want to edit the document now? That is the second option. Do you want to edit the document later? So I'll say I want to edit the document now itself. But before editing a document, you should have a document. So how do I create a document? So you see here name of the document. I have to type here a name of the document. I'll write some name as suggestions, comments, anything. So I'll write as suggestions, suggestions. So that is the name of the file. But what should be the ex extension of the file? Should it be a notepad, wordpad, paint, what exactly? So if, if I want a notepad, I'll just put as txt. If I want a notepad, I'll just put as .txt. And this is the location where your notepad will be stored. So what I'll do is I'll just change the lo location I want on the desktop. So I'll just click on change and I'll select this desktop. Right now, this suggestion, that's a text file and I have to click on OK. That's it. So that is the location and that is the name of the file, suggestion.txt. And this document will open now. I can edit the document. So once I click on OK, you see there's a notepad file open, which is blank. Name of the file is uh, suggestion, that's a txt file. And I can start typing here as suggestion1. This is suggestion one, anything I can type here and I'll just close it, right? So this is the suggestion one and I'll click on save button. So this is save. So next time what I'll do is if I go for a presentation, F5 mode and uh, I'll keep on asking to, I'll present this slides to the client. If some client says that this is the uh, things you have to make changes to your slide. So what you can do is you can immediately open the same notepad, which was saved on the desktop. How do you open? You can click here. And you see there was a suggestion one. So when you go for the next client, next client says that is one more suggestion. What is the suggestion? Suggestion two, you can just write it immediately on the spot. Kind of anything you can do that. And I can just click on close and click on save. Same way, if you go for the third line, again, you can click on this click here option. And now there are two suggestions you can keep on updating. I repeat that you do not have to be compulsory with a notepad. You can create an Excel file, Word file, PowerPoint, notepad, any anything you can do that. And I'll just close it and press escape key. What happened to that notepad file where it is stored? So that is stored on the desktop. So if I show you the desktop, this is my suggestions file. That is a notepad file. I'll just double click on that. And you see that's the same Excel file which is given here. So this is how we can create and I'll go back to my PowerPoint. Right. So I hope you understood how to create a hyperlink to a new file and you can edit on the spot also and you can edit later on. So I hope you have understood and uh, that's all for this video.